Today I'm going to take you to fly over top of Tanzania in the most beautiful way possible. It is uh, at 4.30 a.m. mayhem, and we've got a crazy adventure waiting for us just beyond this door. Guys, look at that, right in the middle of the road. There are three lions here. Holy guacamole. <gasps> Guys, that's a leopard, very rare to find. This is the beginning of a horror movie. No. <laughs> the footrest to get into the car has now just fallen down. So as we were driving, it's gone thump, 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 thump. And now the driver is out there. I'll keep an eye out. It doesn't help that we've literally seen more predators on this 45 minute drive than we've seen at any other point. One more. Nice work. Yes. All right, woo! Back on the road. Continue. And no line attacks. And we've arrived. It is a beautiful start to the day, and we're getting to go up in that. I'm so excited. This is literally a dream come true. You know what makes this hot air balloon so unique? What? We're gonna see animals. I thought it was because you're doing it with me. Because we're gonna see animals. Okay. I've never seen it done like this. <laughs> this is so crazy. I feel like a bumblebee loading into a honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> and we flip. Let's go. Let's free this balloon. And it's about to take flight. What's up, dude? Let's do this, man. I'm coming with you, man, all the way. He's in LCA. Tanzania. Yeah, local so Tanzania in LCA. <laughs> This is so cool. It's a lion. Ostrich. 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 The flightless <laughs> bird. Guys, look at all the hippos. I want to do this every day. Gosh. This is so crazy. Crazy. I think this is the coolest cool thing I've ever done. I think I'm quitting my job and becoming a Nat Geo wildlife photographer. What job? You know? I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to make $500 a day while in a hot air balloon? <laughs> then check out the link down below to learn how to become a content creator. Appreciate that plug. <laughs> And to think we almost didn't do this. I know. I know. <laughs> if you're coming as far as the Serengeti, it's not cheap. It's about $600 a person. I mean, if you're going to spend this much to get here, I think this is the best way to do it. You get to see so much. I've done hot air balloons before, but to be here in the savannah, this is so insane. Time for a bumpy landing. Oh. 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 <laughs> lean forward, lean forward. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and we didn't tip. Just a heavy collision. That was fun. This is a must. And if you're coming to Serengeti, we use Serengeti Balloon Safari. Honestly, the guys work in the balloon and everyone here is just so incredibly friendly. And I couldn't recommend it more highly. In fact, if you come here to the Serengeti and don't do this, you're robbing yourself of the best thing that you can do here. I am the best in the world. Oh, wow. There you go. I didn't even have to say it. <laughs> Mohammed, pretty good for your second day. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. By the time you get here, it'll be at least his fourth day. So, uh, yeah, I'd probably request him. Imagine All right, so, congratulations everybody for the flight. Okay, one, three. Hip hop! Hooray! It's her birthday oh, okay. today. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> this is one of the most coincidental things of my life. So this is Jiggy. Jiggy's Tanzanian. We met him here this morning very randomly. What a coincidence, man. And I'm part of LTA. I've learned a lot of stuff from yeah. Christian and seen a post that you're coming to Africa. And then I was like, what part of Africa is he going? I have no idea. <laughs> turns out he's right on my doorstep. What the hell, man? Dude, pretty Amazing wild, coincidence, man. man. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you here, man. Do enjoy Tanzania. Yeah, we have a lot yeah. to offer. Wow, look at these wow. trees. Leopards really like to hang out up there. 
Oh. So Jigger was just saying the most dangerous animal most likely for us would be a leopard. A leopard, yeah. It's very like uh, defensive. Mm. Whereas lions, lions they don't like the smell of you. If you see a lion here, it'll probably go the other way. What a absolute treat. Nature's umbrella and the dinner table. Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna teach them a quick lesson, all right? Can one of you guys yell lion? Yeah. No, yep. no, 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 no. See, everyone turns around. Okay. He doesn't want to Looks like I gotta take this. Pierre, Jerome! Guys, 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 guys! Over there! Quick, 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 quick! Stay down, stay down, stay down! Stay, 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 stay! Stay! <laughs> stay! <laughs> played it a little cooler than yeah, I hoped for. Cool. I wouldn't yeah. have played it so cool. No. I would have come back with trousers, a different color. See you later! That has been our final moments here with the Four Seasons. The journey continues. It's a lot of dust. We're now meeting up with Killy Warriors Expeditions and we're actually making our way out of Serengeti to the next national park and this one is a giant imploded crater. Back in the day this was a mountain that was larger than Kilimanjaro and what's left today is known as, oh god do I even try it? Goro Goro? Nongongoro? Nongoro Goro? The Goro Goro crater was formed due to the eruption of the volcano mountain about 2.5 million years ago were you there uh wasn't there but okay. i'm sure it, it did yeah okay we've got about seven hours of driving and that doesn't account for stops you ready i'm i'm i think i'm ready i am i was ready already you you look ready already yeah. i feel that pierre does not look ready i'm ready for the eruption just uh different kind maybe not the one you're thinking about pierre's not feeling 100 it be like this for hours and hours. Wow, they're fast. Whoa. Wow. Isaac, Isaac, talk to me. Let's talk money. My phone is dead. The battery died. My life is literally on the road and I rely on these devices to do everything that I do. And that's why today I wanna to show you guys an absolute power of a product. And that is the EcoFlow Delta Max. Imagine a power bank that can charge your iPhone 200 times. Imagine an external power source that could literally keep your house going during a blackout, keeping your refrigerator running, running a hair dryer, and basically all of your electrical needs. It can power up to 15 devices simultaneously. When this thing finally runs out of power, just plug it back in and in one hour you're back to 70%. Now, as if that wasn't enough power, you can actually strap three of these batteries together to get up to 6,000 watt hours. And the beautiful thing is, with Delta's solar panels, you can fully recharge the battery in as little as three and a half hours, which is such an amazing fit for anyone living the van life or needing tons of power remotely. Now, if you wanna get your hands on a Delta Max, check out that link down below. Let's get back to the video. Oh. Two hours later, and the landscapes have drastically changed. It's so incredible, as we were driving through all of the savanna, the plains, we saw endless gazelle, we saw zebras, giraffe, we saw the Maasai tribe, and the Maasai are the ones that have lived here since the beginning of time. But now I bring you to a very special part of this landscape. And this right here is Ngorogoro Crater. You can see the way the valley has been able to collect all of the rainfall and have it kept right there in the center. And this gives year-round water supply to all of the different animals. And it's one of the reasons why, even in the dry season, you will be able to find many animals here. But also, what's very fascinating is this used to be Africa's largest volcano. But one day, not only did it blow its top off, it literally disappeared and turned to a crater. I'm sure that would have been a world-changing event, but uh, I don't really know anyone who was around to see it, except David. All right, there we go. Nagorongoro. You wanna give her a shot? It's Ngorongoro. Ngorongoro. <laughs> How would you say it there, little girl? Ngorongoro. <laughs> so, it's time to convert this thing into the uh, safari vehicle. Pull these little things out. You ready? I can show you the like a roller coaster coming down this little path. Whoa! And every now and then we're getting hit with little clouds of moisture. This is insane, guys. We now have a full 360 of mountains around us. It reminds me of Paris. <laughs> it's so cool. You can see how the clouds are kind of coming over the mountains and blowing down into the valley here. I'm 
I'm thinking. Ah. <laughs> Time for some bird watching beers. Yeah. The BWB, let's get that thing going. It's only 12. Ooh. Kilimanjaro. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Sláinte. Sláinte. Sláinte means cheers in Irish. So, uh, Are you Irish? <laughs> my, uh, my I had no idea. No. Today's mission is to find some rhinos. So oh, poaching, as you oh, probably have heard, is an issue here in these parks. But the rhino is the most desired animal. Its horn is worth tons and tons of money on the black market. So with that said, this is actually one of the places we might be able to see them today. But it's also one of the harder animals to see. There's not many left in the wild. Wow, flamingos. Oh my god, flamingos. But they're white. So Ruby and I's first ever date kind of getaway, if you will, was to Holbosch, and I surprised her. She told me her favorite animal in the world was the flamingo. You did? And this is our second time seeing them. Hmm. Yay. But these ones are white, they're knockoffs. No, they just haven't eaten enough algae to create their pink color in their feathers. That's why. I mean, sorry to dampen the mood, guys. Very <laughs> romantic story, loved it, but there's, um, you should have there's a dead one right there. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bunch of feathers, really. <laughs> no, man, it's it's just sleeping. <laughs> Why is he by himself? We finally found a rhino, which was the animal that we've been waiting to see. And it's the black rhino, but we just learned a disturbing fact. There are only 25 rhinos in all of the Gorongoro the National crater? Park, yeah. And apparently because they're so endangered, there's still risk of poachers coming through here trying to make a quick buck off of these few remaining rhinos that actually the park rangers are up on the hill there. They probably have binoculars and they're just sitting up there all day watching over a few of them. And if ever there's a risk, they would probably come down here in a zip. I asked David, so what do they do if this rhino leaves their line of sight if he starts to wander? Sad truth is they actually have to bring him back. So obviously they probably scare him back in this direction or something. Otherwise, he is going to be a sitting duck for potential poachers. It's the sad reality of this is how conservation has to go now with uh, so few rhinos remaining. They were about to witness the famous Maasai crossing. Don't know if this is the crossing everyone talks about, but it's a good one. Ten out of ten would recommend Tell him I have fruit and pumpkin. Okay, yeah, I have some. <laughs> yeah. Asante sana. Bye bye. Ah, karibu. Asante. Karibu na zizi. He said that the food in the water was for his little kids. Oh, what else yeah. did he say? And then he said, welcome to Tanzania. <laughs> After four and a half hours of pumpy dirt roads, I'm probably just covered in dust to the touch. And now we've got about three hours to get to Arusha. And honestly, I'm kind of excited about this road trip because for me, the best way to get to see a place is just to take the road and drive through, see the average Tanzanian and their life as we drive by. Oh my goodness, we made it. Woo! Hello, how are you? From 6 a.m. to like 7 or 8 p.m. on the road, we got here in one piece with Kili Warriors Expeditions. They run tours in the crater, but actually what they're most well known for is the Kili at the beginning of the name. They actually do expeditions up to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro. But the truth is, with me running my academy, trying to keep my YouTube channel going, being off the grid for seven days was just not really in the equation. And so I want to do Kilimanjaro another day, but today is not that day. It's time to check in. Welcome to the hotel. Thank you very much. Cheers. See you tomorrow, 5.45 a.m. No sleep. We've got something super special to show you in just a few hours. Welcome to Kibo Palace. Maybe the most highly reviewed hotel in all of the area. Tonight we're going to a local favorite that is called Andrew's and they serve some of the best barbecue in town. So I'm excited to try it. Wow, look at this. And this is the spot. That is not a house cat. You are so beautiful. Oh, good. Okay, come on up. Okay, all right. I was gonna have dinner, but. Oh, <laughs> you Christian, he really are, likes you. Are you kidding Look me? Look at that. You picked the right person. <laughs> uh -huh. I hope. What would it be I'm to so travel nervous. and not try new things? So, we're gonna get ourselves the goat ribs. This okay, one. Great, thank okay. you. Oh man, they weren't playing. Three portions of fun. That's wow. three, three portions oh of ribs. God. Oh my god, wow. wow. Mm. Mm, it's very chewy. I would compare it most to lamb. I would say I like it. 
mostly. Yeah. Another pre-sunrise morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning! Good morning! Sunshine! Are you excited? Look at this, guys. That is Mount Maru. And just beyond it is where we're going next, to Mount Kilimanjaro. But this isn't just any flight. We're not flying for the purpose of getting from point A to B, because we're going from point A to A. Good morning, good Mr. Morning. Pilot. Hi, how are you? We're flying to Kilimanjaro. We're doing a scenic route around Kilimanjaro. You should be able to see the peak. Hope you enjoy. Awesome. Cheers. This is Irene, and she was just telling me that we have an iPad that literally shows us what we're seeing as we fly over it. When we hit 12,000 feet, we're gonna be needing this right here because if not, we'll get tired and sleepy from the lack of oxygen. Thank you very much, pilots. Pleasure. That was amazing. Pleasure. It's such a pleasure to meet you. It's such a pleasure to meet you too. <laughs> Hope to fly with you guys again someday yeah. soon. That was amazing. If you guys are coming to Tanzania, definitely check out Ruka, Africa, the best way to fly over Kili, and you don't even need hiking boots. If you haven't already watched the beginning of the series, it's been one of my favorites yet. Visiting the Serengeti and seeing the national park was just unbelievable. But many more adventures to come around Africa. And so guys, with that, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more of me and the whole squad as we travel Africa. And let's get lost again in the next one.